Littermate Gilt and Boar uh, now in the in the pen. 26-1, the crossbred Gilt. 26-2, the crossbred Boar. 26 litter is quitting time on nothing to hide. Yep, uh, a, a Gilt litter here, short on numbers, but I think very high on quality. Uh, their mother would have been a high dollar bread purchase we made this fall from the mock crew. Um, uh, the, the Indiana guys probably will be quite familiar with the litter mates. Uh, there were three litter mate barrels that got along very well. Uh, one, one of them won, I can't think what county in Indiana. I know Kevin went and judged it. Uh, the, the most popular one was Vade Dishman's barrel that won a bunch of jackpot shows there. I believe he was either third or fourth overall at the Indiana State Fair on the cross barrel side. Uh, I don't remember which, but, but an incredibly successful, uh, barrel litter. And, uh, uh, we bought the only sister to those. So, uh, the, the gilts, uh, the one Abby's trying to get her attention on here is going to be 26-1 uh, one that I think in terms of just natural shape and muscle and, and having a very very usable hind leg and square and, and in terms of her build I, I think a guilt that, that can gain some attention not only color pattern wise but but quality wise and uh, if she'll follow something and want to be a show pick here I think uh, uh, her vest view uh, she's very good going away but man when she uh, sticks her head up and puts her blade back where uh, it just relaxes and goes uh, she is uh, I think one that's very unique yeah these Quentin times have obviously been well received as uh, as babies and as big pigs too, and for good reason. So uh, I think the pedigree here uh, uh, is something that that uh, I, I, my sirens go off because I've really liked those Quentin times and gilts like this are, are the reason because they're darn good built, they're darn good from the side, uh, and uh, I've never seen one that uh, that doesn't have a good profile ever win a pig show, and and this one certainly has that, and she leaves just square and true uh, like that dash one a lot, and here the, the dash two is the boar pig. Yep, this dash two male, I, I think, is one uh, that, that should be uh, high up on some guys' lists. Uh, uh, if he fall, he's going to follow for us here. That's a tall shoulder. That's a great looking one that's going to have a big old rolled up back in him. He's stout and he's hip and he's pin. He's square and he's hawk and, and, and still stout and he's skull. And at the same time, that one's got enough in terms of foot and feature. And uh, uh, trust the pedigree, trust the genetics, uh, trust the, the, just uh, what that mock program's done. And uh, I, I don't really think uh, if you follow that closely or even if you just follow it from a distance. I don't think you'll have any doubts that the, uh, this barrel is going to get enough stuff everywhere to go with just his awesome look and design. Yeah, a heck of a, a build and design barrel uh, uh, with plenty. I mean, he's stout between the eyes, so I think he's going to keep coming with the feature. Um, leaves you square and true, kind of like the, the guilt. Uh, I think this pair of quitting times is, is awfully, awfully good. So again, this was 26-1, the guilt, 26-2, the boy.